Fuck yeah. Welcome to Sunday. Sunday, bloody Sunday. <laughs> Okay, so welcome to Sunday. And uh, today we've got uh, our long run, which is the first one back from this since surgery. I've got uh, 10 miles on the car to do today. And within that 10 miles, there's going to be oh, a bit of bogginess here. We have a two mile race pace sprint or stint, um, which is going to be around about, so hopefully, somewhere about 6.59 a mile. And then the rest of it's just going to be sitting in probably zone two. So we've got a seven mile zone two trot. And then we've got the two mile race pace sort of interval. And then about a mile of warm down uh, for 10 mile total. Had a pretty uh, good day on the bike yesterday where I was doing some intervals and an FTP session. So the legs have got a bit of fatigue in them. So it'll be interesting to see how they hold up. So now I've got the first mile on my legs and I'm a bit more warmed up. God knows what was going on with my breathing there. Thought I'd talk a little bit about the structure of today's run. Um, now I was fortunate enough last week to get to ask um, a couple of questions on the Wiggle live stream to um, distance runner Lily Partridge. I'll drop a link to below. She's the uh, current ladies British half marathon champion. Obviously a really good distance runner. And then um, I asked her a question about how to try and improve our sort of training sessions to improve my speed over the marathon. And one of the ones she, uh, things she discussed was um, learning to turn your legs over at a decent pace, but with um, a bit of fatigue in the legs. So with that in mind, I've kind of structured today's run on the 10 miler to be kind of try and put a graphic up on the bottom of the screen so we're going to have of the 10 miles it's just going to be mostly easy so we're going to sit and try and sit in zone 2 on the Garmin for probably the first 7 of it and then we'll aim for my uh, 3 hour marathon pace which is 6.59 a mile for a 2 mile sprint and we'll record that as an interval as a lap um, now without doing a lot of running recently Certainly not high intensity. I don't know how close I'll get to that, but we'll have a go anyway. And the section where I've plotted it is on a slight incline anyway. So it might make it a bit more difficult, but we'll go off the heart rate. We'll aim for that pace and we'll just aim to keep the, the heart rate kind of like at the top of the threshold. And hopefully it'll get somewhere close. And then we've got just the one mile warm down home then. And then it should be uh, a decent quality of the 10 miles. Um, now, comparison to the other run I've done this week, I did need to add a bit more intensity into it, so this should tick that box. But in terms of mileage, I am kind of breaking the rule of uh, where your long run should probably be more than about 30% of your weekly. This is going to probably be about half my weekly mileage this week, so we'll have to just be careful. If this is something you're going to be interested in, or if you want to show a bit of support for uh, Cancer to Corner, sort of story I'm trying to aim for here um, we massively appreciate it if you could uh, either drop a like or a subscribe below that would be a huge help with the channel and uh, hopefully help us get some good training tips and some good motivation out to people in bad circumstances and we can uh, continue to build a good resource here so if you consider that that would help me out massively but now I'm going to shut up and get my breathing under control. It's probably worth recording there. I'll show you now. Watch has just dropped back down into zone two into the green. And it's took me, let's have a look, two and a half mile nearly to get my heart rate under control. Which is uh, a bit concerning. But uh, we'll keep it here from now on. Now, considering I felt like I had a really good sleep last night and a good dinner, um, I'm assuming it's probably a little bit of accumulated fatigue from the bike yesterday. Um, 
I did an FTP test yesterday and it was only, it's improved, but it's still only 178. But I did feel like I left everything out on it and I was tired afterwards, so I'm hoping it's just that. But uh, I suppose tomorrow I've got a really easy loosener room with Jill anyway. And then um, trying to get a few swims in next week as well. So we'll see how tomorrow's run goes. But something to keep an eye on. So a bit of a landmark on the town is the Ineos factory, which you can't really see from here, but it's massive. Uh, cool little fact about it is some of the buildings in there are part of the old World War II arms factory that was here before the town. And their emergency alarm is still the old World War II air raid siren. So every Thursday, you hear this old World War II air raid siren again as they test the alarm, which is pretty cool. Also, as part of the factory, which I'll kind of show you in this field here. We have this huge solar farm there. That'll power part of the factory. And then Cleveland Hills off in the distance. Nice little public walkways and lots of open ground. Lots of open land around here. It's all pretty flat. And there's one drive from School Lake will follow up to Hyndon, which it's only a few percent uphill, but it seems to go on forever. It won't do any favours for the heart rate, I don't know. Okay, quick update. We are 4.18 in. So, straight over four miles. Um, pace is averaging about 8.40, which, to be honest, is a pretty good, easy pace for me. I usually try and aim, especially since we've gone uphill for the first four miles. But uh, yeah, somewhere around eight and a half minutes a mile for me is a pretty usually pretty steady zone two run pace for me. But my heart rate doesn't agree today. The heart rate's barely got below 150 for uh, since the start of the run. So, um, so what I think I'm going to do is because it does still feel quite easy. Um, when I'm not talking to the camera, it's easy enough to keep on top of my breathing, but that probably suggests I am going to touch hard. Uh, but the heart rate could be a number of things. I mean, I could have picked up an infection, uh, and I've just not feeling it yet. The, um, I started to put the swimming into my training, it could just be a bit of extra fatigue. Heart rate training is not always the most reliable because there's so many factors that can cause your heart rate to sit higher or lower. Um, that said, when I checked my heart, resting heart rate this morning, it was actually one a bit lower than the average that I've been taking for the last sort of week or so. So, it tends to suggest you're in decent nick, but I don't know. Maybe I've just gone a bit too hard at the start and not noticed. But uh, I'll feel it at the end. But uh, so we've got two and a half miles until the interval starts. Uh, so it's downhill for most of it until the start of the interval too. So. We'll back off, get the heart rate under control, and then uh, really push up for the two mile race pace. See how that feels. Here we go. Got the Vela Club out. <laughs> so, anyone in the tri clubs out with Eclat Vela today? Say hello. <laughs> so, you know. Is an update. We're two, just shy of six miles in. Still hanging around about 840 pace, so heart rate's coming a bit more under control than we're at Hinton train station. So, so have a look. Oh, well, that's not. Uh, I guess we're not walking over that way. No trains coming. And we're across. So, yeah, so we've come up at six miles in now. Uh, heart rate's looking a lot better. Uh, I'm about a mile away from the interval. Uh, feeling pretty good. Uh, we'll see what we feel like. Uh, maybe halfway through the interval, we'll see what the crack is. Right, here we go. Yeah. 
6.78 miles in, just about to start the two mile interval. Uh, this is what we're here for, eh? So, time to go to work. This is probably going to suck. Right, this is the first one mile interval done. What I didn't realise is I've timed it at the start. At the start of probably the only uphill. So it hasn't half spiked us out. So what I'm going to do is, have a, where are we? Have maybe like a two minute recovery. And then we'll go for another mile. But the first one average, bang on 6.58, including a big incline, so I'm happy with that. So if we can get one more good mile in before we get home, I'll be happy with the intensity for this session. Let's see how we do. Right, here we go. We're up on the flat. Car heads back down to where it needs to be. And here we go. Lap number three on Strava. Three, six fifty-nine or less again. Let's go. Downhill, over there, over there. Oh, oh, Christ. Oh, toast. So here we go. Two some sediment miles. Hey. Oh, that Sorry. thought of doing 26 of them consecutively is enough to make you sick. Speaking of which, I regret not bringing a drink. But there we go. Let's have a look. Our rate's coming down. Now we've got a little... Uh, Listen, we're currently nine miles in. Average about eight and a half those two intervals so <clears throat> so now we just need to get the uh, get the highway down we've got about a mile mile and a bit worth of run jog home and then uh, something to eat drink nice bath and then uh, pretty chilled rest of the Sunday I think so uh, see you when I get closer to home So, we're back now, do a little bit of stretching and try and keep the legs fresh. The Garmin tells me it's adjusted my threshold a little bit. So it now thinks that my lactate threshold heart rate is about 166, which is a good bit higher than it was to start with, or what I'd estimated previously. So we'll have to have a look when we get back in. Um, and then it puts my threshold, which puts my threshold pace, it thinks about eight minutes, seven a mile which is I'm quite happy with. Uh, my current personal best on the marathon is 3.37, which was an average of 8.22 or something like that. Um, so it's an improvement, I guess. Right, so there we go. Um, I've been back about probably an hour now, so I think just a recap on the session. It was, it felt all right, to be honest. Um, I think the, the sort of, the pace that I was carrying in the two intervals, I was really happy with. Um, especially sort of seven mile into a run to be able to put out uh, two good intervals especially with the first one being uphill at um, right on race pace I think that was pretty good I can certainly feel it in my legs now and um, the my calves and things like that are starting to feel a little bit stiff uh, recovery wise I've been back I've had um, just something simple just had some scrambled eggs in a wrap um, I've got a protein shake which is uh, I tend to have after any sort of workout anyway I find it just helps um, just get rid of any doms and things like that so it just helps you the next day everything feels a lot better but um yeah uh, a good session nice the weather played ball and um just good conditions to run in um i can definitely recommend if anybody sees them if you've got the time um pretty much every friday i think there's a live stream on wiggle 
and it's um we've had some great people on. I mean, I've managed to ask questions to Tim Don and then obviously Lily Partridge um the week before last. And the advice you get off the pros like that's brilliant. So um yeah, if you do get a chance to have a look at them, it's well worth checking out on Facebook Live on a Friday. And we'll leave it there. If you've enjoyed it, um I'd love it if you'd subscribe um and follow the journey along. Um it would be a massive help to the channel. If you've enjoyed the video or you think you've got some use out of it, just give it a thumbs up and um, hopefully uh, I'll catch you again next time.